Okay, so people keep asking me how I lost my weight. I lost 103 pounds, yay, and I still have about 20 pounds to go, um, and 16 inches off of my waist, so I typed it all up and I've been posting it for my friends on Facebook, but I'm still getting so many questions, so I just kind of wanted to put it to a video uh, so I can just let you guys know how I did it. it I think anyone can do it this way, but it, it, it might not be um, the right thing that you wanted to. Uh, how I did it was I made my own version of a keto diet. I keep my carbs, I count net carbs, and keep my carbs around 20 every day. Um, and that's net carbs. You'll need to Google that and look into that. It's basically taking the carbs and subtracting the fiber and the sugar alcohols and you'll get a net carb count. Um, so I typed it all up. I'm just going to go ahead and just read it to you, what I typed. Um, okay, so actual to date uh, weight loss is 103 pounds and 16 pounds off of my waist. Um, I still have about 20 pounds to go. Um, okay, I'll, I'll get to the tips because a lot of that was talked to my uh, Facebook friends. Um, make water your only drink other than your morning coffee and tea. No diet drinks. That means no diet Pepsi, no diet Coke, no diet 7-Up, no diet Dr. Pepper, no diet drinks. I use green tea a lot um, with ginseng and ginger. I've been brewing that for myself. I buy the ginger, put it in the freezer, and it's very easy after it's frozen to peel and slice up. And then the ginseng, you just bust the roots. And I brew those with the green tea bags in a rice cooker all day long and then drink that through the week. Um, the sweetener that I use is monk fruit sweetener. Um, I use the golden and the classic. It just depends what you'd like to use. I use heavy cream in my coffee um, as much as I want. You don't count calories, you count the carbs. Some days I could have 5,000 calories and still lose 5 pounds that week. Um, it's the carbs. Keep your carbs uh, at 20 net carbs. Uh, only weigh yourself once a month. Avoid the scale because the scale gets very depressing and I think it's deceitful. I use a tape measure. That's where I really saw a lot of um, fast loss, like 6 inches and 45 to 60 days off of my waist. Uh, <clears throat> no fruits until you make your goal weight. I, I avoid the fruits because of their carb count now. I am going to be uh, making dehydrated watermelon in my dehydrator. I make beef jerky in my dehydrator and I live off of that a lot. Um, the staple foods that I'm getting are uh, Sola bread. It has three carbs per serving uh, and you can get that on Amazon. Um, albacore tuna, I eat a ton of tuna. Duke's mayonnaise, no carbs, I eat tons of mayonnaise. Dill relish, make sure that you do not get the sweet relish because it's really high in carbs compared to the dill. Um, I eat spinach fresh and frozen, asparagus, okra, broccoli, um, any beef, any chicken, any fish, any pork, cheese. I eat tons of cheese. I buy the mozzarella sticks and snack on them. I have cheese on like everything I eat. Um, eggs, I eat tons of eggs, uh, beef and chicken broth, sometimes I like that. Um, Atkins shakes, they uh, help a lot, I, they're always in my house, always, 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 I'll pop an Atkins shake when I feel hungry. Chalk Zero bars, um, I get those on Amazon and they taste like real chocolate, which they are real chocolate. Um, there's only two net carbs in each bar. So, um, it just depends what my cravings like. Sometimes I'll have two bars. It, they're very satisfying. And um, again, you want to be using urine uh, sticks. I don't know if I said that. Uh, to to weigh and measure the effectiveness of what you're eating, you should be peeing on um, urine sticks that test for ketones. Uh, that's how you evaluate how effective your eating plan is. Um, let's see, I have, uh, okay, maltitol, I hope that I'm saying that right, is a sugar substitute 
that is in a lot of the Atkins treats and they threw me right out of ketosis so you want to look for like the lemon Atkins treats they don't have the maltitol and there's a few others check the ingredients labels on there or you'll be stagnant in your weight loss and wonder what's going on and it's that ingredient um, at Walmart you can get Joseph's pitas they have six carbs each and I use them a lot. I make pita chips so I can um, put my, I, I use pimento cheese, hummus, um, guacamole. I can make chicken salad, tuna salad. I use a lot of pita chips and I use the Joseph's pitas for that. Um, can whipped cream and jello, sugar-free jello, sugar-free can whipped cream. Such a nice treat and I eat that a lot. Um, carb Zero noodles, they're not actually a noodle, they're made from a plant, um, but they are a good substitute. I make um, like stir fry beef with broccoli and green peppers and then put it over those noodles. I, I make Alfredo sauce with heavy whipping cream and uh, Parmesan cheese and put that over the noodles. Um, Miracle Whip, it's got a little more carbs than the mayonnaise does, so you'll have to watch how much you eat. Mustard, onions, garlic, um, nuts. Um, hold on one second. Nuts are really good. I always have nuts on hand, and like a quarter cup is a serving. And uh, again, watch your servings and count the carbs. In the beginning, you'll want to keep a food journal um so that you can track and it took me three months to get used to this and you definitely want to keep a tight watch on what you're consuming in the beginning because it's brand new for you and you don't know if you're going overboard with your carbs or not unless you're keeping track in a food journal so this is it's a must you need to have a food journal um there's 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 different low carb peanut butters out there i use a lot of peanut butter um the carb quick I don't know if I mentioned that a minute ago I make like a lot of sausage gravy and biscuits and I use the carb quick that I get on Amazon to make the biscuits and it, it's it's okay um, almond flour um, you can use that to thicken different things like I use a little almond flour whenever I make a meatloaf now because I don't use the breadcrumbs or meatballs um, sauerkraut so you make a lot of sauerkraut and pork um, uh, apple cider vinegar with the mother I do a shot of that every day and avocados I always have avocados on hand and you can fill in with um, Atkins treats and different stuff like that I, I always have the lemon Atkins bars on hand so if I get hungry I can pop one of those um, it's it's Everybody's going to have to find their own staple list. That That's the food that works for me. Um, a typical day of food for me is like two to three big coffees in the morning with lots of monk fruit sweetener, lots of heavy cream. Then I might have like a quarter cup of nuts, maybe an Atkins bar. Um, I might make a big fat sandwich with a ton of cheese and roast beef and mayonnaise and spinach I put a lot of spinach on my sandwiches on the sola bread and you can really load it up and there's six carbs in the bread and then whatever you put in count the carbs um, <clears throat> a lot of cowboy eggs a lot of uh, peanut butter sandwiches on the sola bread a lot of pimento cheese with the chips tons of guacamole tons of hummus um, and, and you don't count your calories you need to keep on top of the carbs that's the most important thing some days I think I just said this a little bit ago I really didn't have a script planned I was just gonna try to re real talk you through what I do um, some days I might have 5,000 calories some days I might have 1,000 it just it depends on my food choices for the day in the beginning you, while you're detoxing from all the refined sugar and everything you will feel a little hungry and a little nutty. I was making myself uh, my own meals and then making my husband whatever he wanted, pizza, uh, chicken tenders and fries. So for the beginning, it was a little crazy. I was like angry and wanting that food, but I stuck with it. Um, 
and once you see on the tape measure six inches gone buddy your confidence goes up and you really want to see this through um, I started this in July of last year and I'm making this video in May of 2019 so it's definitely a commitment and a long journey I'm at 10 months now and I'm at the slowest weight loss that I have been at because I'm at the end. Um, since I'm disabled, it's hard for me to commit to an exercise routine. So I did all of this without any exercise. Zero exercise, 103 pounds off, 16 inches off of my waist. I was a 52 inch size waist wearing size 26 clothes. And I'm wearing 12 14s now. Uh, my waist is 36 inches, possibly smaller. I haven't weighed or measured in a few weeks. Um, if you get stagnant and you feel like the weight loss is slowing down, uh, what I do like every seven to eight weeks is I have a weekend where I just eat whatever I want. So I'll get a fried fish dinner and macaroni and cheese, donuts, oh, we have Orums in Beaver Falls. It's the best donuts in the world. And I just had those two weeks ago. It was my eat whatever I want weekend two weeks ago. And I had D&G pizza, Orums donuts, uh, whatever I wanted. Real Welch's grape juice, which was such a treat because I don't get any fruit juice or fruits right now. Um, and then you reset on Monday. And that seems to uh, ramp everything up where you're losing again. But I need to weigh and measure uh, to see if I'm back on track. I'm, I'm, I check my urine sticks every, basically every day. And you'll notice if something's wrong if you're suddenly feeling hungry again because you, you stay in this satisfied state, uh, keeping the carbs at 20 a day. Uh, it's, you seem to not be hungry. I can, you know, walk past a buffet and not not go nuts it, it doesn't food doesn't rule me anymore um, I don't know there's lots of, I wish I that you guys could contact me and I could give you all kinds of recipes because I make seafood alfredo chicken alfredo sausage gravy and biscuits eggplant lasagna um, so much stuff. Oh, Sloppy Joe's. You can eat Sloppy Joe's, but no bun. I put um, a bunch of cheddar cheese, and it's so good. Uh, basically, I guess my main points are drink tons of water. Uh, keep your carbs at 20 net carbs a day. Avoid the scale. Find a staple food list that you like, that you can live with. Um... And you can do this. Anybody can do this. My stepdad <clears throat> did the program and he's no longer a borderline diabetic. My neighbors are doing it. My husband's aunt and uncle, uh, some of my friends, uh, a lot of people after seeing me because I was, I was a completely different person. I wish that I had a before picture for you to put on this video, but I don't. I used to hide from the camera. I found some and I have some on my Facebook uh, and if anybody would like my Facebook um, address, you can let me know in the comments and I'll definitely get that for you. But I am on another hiatus from daily Facebooking, but the page is open and you can read the information there because it would probably be easier to read it. What I'll do is in the video description here, I will put, I'll put what I have typed up that I shared with my friends. Because there's, there's just so much you can eat. Cream chicken and biscuits, uh, meatloaf, meatballs. I mean, like I pig out and check my urine stick uh, before I go to bed if I feel like I might have overdone it. And it's always purple. It's always good. Um, it's just constant. You're constantly losing. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what else I can say. Maybe I just want you to get motivated to do this. I lost 103 pounds. I'm a completely different person. And I will be 47 this July in a few, couple months. Uh, but I feel younger. I look younger than I did. Um, it, it, this has really changed my life. 103 pounds is a lot. I move better. 
Um, I have chronic fatigue syndrome and I definitely have more energy now. Um, I just hope that you guys will try it too. It, it's really not that hard. If you can just press through the first two weeks, it is so worth it. It's going to take two weeks to get into good ketosis and get used to not having those um, re breads and refined sugars and things like that. And you don't have to suffer without bread. That Sola bread on Amazon is delicious. I mean, just absolutely delicious. I make uh, toast with it, French toast, all the time French toast. There's there's no carb syrups out there, no carb ketchup or low carb. And if you guys like need to have some specific advice, just leave me a comment with your questions and I'll, I will answer it for sure. I'm not actually putting the products up and showing them right here because I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just trying to get some other people motivated to lose some fat and feel better about themselves. And I guess that's it. Thanks.